morning uh, for prayers. We go together and have coffee. Uh, I'm just grateful with every moment to give. So for today, or for every Sunday, our program is the Kingdom Economics, I guess, all odds. I don't really know what odds you're going through. And I don't know how big the volume is or how hard it is or how challenging it may be to your level or to your life. But the only assurance that I can give you, please, today, I try and live a life a little bit different. Uh, maybe you say, yeah, I'm all good. I'm all healthy. Anything can happen. We were actually uh, watching a documentary with Gasselevo. I think it was last week or last Sunday. Uh, we were watching with um, uh, Gasselevo and uh, Elijah. And as we watched this particular gentleman, he was uh, sharing, uh, standing uh, with his uh, children uh, because he was uh, he created a song for his wife. And when he was asked uh, you know, about his wife, he said, my wife uh, walked out that door one day said goodbye and told me that she loves me and that was the last i saw of her she got into that helicopter and that helicopter crashed uh, last year and she died and the only legacy she left with me is her three children that i'm looking at and when she you know when he was singing that song he can't finish the song he was just crying and there are moments of our life that we go through that we wait and we react when something mm -hmm. happens don't wait to react be proactive Look at it in a different way. Live your life in a different way. Be positive, embrace, and be grateful with everything that God has given you. Because this program, against all odds, whatever odds in life that you're going, are going through and you're facing, always remember, the one that can even it out, the one that can do something about it, the one that can change anything around, the one that can give more percentage to your kidney, the one that can uh, stop the other breast not to be operated on, the one that can heal your cancer, your uterus, the one that can heal your blood, the one that can heal your bone, the one that can restore marriage, the one that can bring your husband home, the one that can change your rebellious child to be an obedient child, the one that can create any miracle in your life. Is the one that you're serving today and his name is jesus so whatever that you go through always remember hang on to him trust him and have your eyes fixed upon him he is the author and the finisher of your faith the bible says when your faith is like a mustard seed then you can move mountains and to go and swim hallelujah. so it's a challenge to yeah. us today regardless of what you're facing in this life you have god on your side Amen. and that means you must serve him so when the teachers of the law came in Mark chapter 12, verse 29 and 30, Teacher, what is the greatest commandment? Hallelujah. Uh, he was asking from commandment 1 to commandment 10, the commandments that was given to Moses from Mount Sinai. We know the story. So the teacher of the law who knows all those uh, laws and teaching and rules, regulations, asking the teacher, asking yeah. the law himself, asking Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? Then Jesus turned around and said, Hear, O Israel, and you must know that there is only one God. You must, the greatest commandment is you must love the Lord your God Amen. with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind. And the second commandment is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Hallelujah. We are talking about our attitude of serving God. Yeah. We don't serve God because it's Sunday. We don't serve God because we belong to a denomination Amen. or because our parents go to church. We serve God because He's our everything. Amen. We serve God because He's the food on the table. We serve God because He's the air that we breathe. Everything, the raw material of creating this universe, comes from His voice. Hallelujah. But the, the, the Creator Himself creates things from Him. Out of him, out of his voice, Hallelujah. those are the raw material Amen. of the food on the table, on the birds of the air, the fish in the sea, the plants and the, the root crops and the fruits. Those are the raw material from his word. Amen. That's why the Bible says man does not live on bread alone, but every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. Amen. So we want to encourage you that the, the God that we serve makes impossible possible hallelujah hallelujah so when things in front of you are not okay with yes. your god it will be okay oh, hallelujah remember the israelites for about three million people for 40 years i'll say that again three million people for 40 years they eat manna cook from heaven hallelujah and they come towards the red sea and the red sea parted amen the red sea parted and they walk on the dry land there was no water in the desert and God gave 